making a review today of a battery management system or a battery monitor that I've just installed. Um, I've installed it in a Bailey Unicorn 4, it's a 2015 model, it's got twin batteries. Um, so I'm going to take you through a review of this product and also a little bit about how I installed it. So this product actually came from Alibaba, so it was pretty reasonably priced. It's around um, 100 New Zealand dollars, including this monitoring screen, which is a great price. It's like, it's about a third of the price of other brands. So I've, it was all nicely packaged. I've already installed the shunt itself. Um, so we've still got the screen in here, which, still got the screen in here, which I'll show you how it works. Everything that I ordered came nicely in the package, so really, really happy with that, and it was pretty easy to install. Let's have a look at how I installed it. So my caravan has a twin battery system, um, and basically what we can see here is the, the original battery. The other battery is underneath the bed. So what we've got here is my batteries are joined in parallel. So essentially, um, here's my negative power bus and this is my positive power bus here so basically what I had to do was here's all my negative wires um, down here and they were previously wired directly to that negative bus but um, as part of this install I've installed the shunt here's the shunt here so basically all of these negative wires which were connected to the bus I um, removed them off the bus mounted the shunt here and run all the negative wires now onto um, the shunt and when you look at the shunt it's labeled one side says battery and one side says load okay so this is this is my battery feed coming in here on the negative and connect it up and this is the load side so we've got three negative load so they're wired in there on the load so that's the the way the shunt works it's just in line on the negative terminal and then this little cable here um, comes across to what is essentially the brains of the battery monitoring system so that cable there runs into here and then um, this cable this battery monitoring controller does need a positive feed as well so that's this little wire here um, in case you're wondering about this install I was just testing it for a few days before I wire it and before I screw it in properly. So I'm gonna actually flip that around and I'll I'll actually flip that around and I'll mount that down in here, but I just wanted to do a simple job of it so I could give it a shakedown and make sure everything was working before I wired it in properly. Um, so yeah, that's all wired in and that's all working. Um, and once I wired it in, I did have some configurations to make. So using the setup screen, I did have to go in and set things like the amp hour total of the battery. So I've got two 120 amp hours, so I had to program it as 240 amp hours. Um, and you also have to set the percentage capacity at the time that this unit's initiated. And because I'd been on power at the time, um, I set that as 100%. So that was all relatively straightforward. So let's have a little look at how it works. Okay, so I just quickly plugged in the display screen so you can see what's going on. So I just, the supplied cable basically plugged into this port here and just plugged into the back of there. Okay, so now we can see a readout of the, the battery. So what it's showing is the, the battery has 13.8 volts, fully charged basically. Um, and at the moment it's just charging 0.1 amp, so very, very little. Um, you can also see 98%, so the battery is basically fully charged. Um, and a bunch of detail about it. So this is how you configure the battery monitor. It was pretty straightforward, you just press set. And there's a bunch of setup screens, so English. Um, and the important ones to set were this one here. So basically setting that the, the battery capacity is 240. Um, that's where you set the battery percentage remaining. So I set it at 100%. You can see it's dropped down to 98 now. 
and there's a bunch of other settings. There's over voltage protection, under voltage protection. They all require a relay, which I haven't purchased, so I can't set any of those. Um, temperature calibration and so on. So that was all super easy to set. So just on temperature, um, this unit did also um, come supplied with a temperature gauge. Um, and the idea of that is it's meant to measure the temperature of the batteries to make sure they're not too hot or not too cold or at least you can get a read out of that. So that cable just plugged in. Um, it's the second one here. And in my case, I've just simply attached it to the side of the battery with some duct tape. Um, not sure if that's a great install job or not. It seems like it's going to do the job for now. I'm not really sure if I need to be measuring the temperature of my battery but anyway so that's that's in place and that's working so let's have a look at the mobile phone app so here we go the mobile phone app on android so we can see it's basically exactly the same it's got your voltage displaying your current which is slightly charging 0.1 amp battery um, capacity remaining 98 percent so to install that app it was pretty straightforward, um, just went into the Google Play Store and searched for kg underscore app, um, it looks like this, um, installed that and then basically switched on Bluetooth on your phone which is quite important and then pressing search um, and search revealed the device. seems to be automatically connecting now but essentially um, where it says disconnect up here there was a button that said search so once I had my Bluetooth switched on um, this displayed search I was able to search for it and then it displayed the name in this case it's BTG037 connected to that and away you go so the app seems to work just fine um, you can also go through and make the same settings that we made on the display screen through here so overall, for me, um, I think personally I'm not going to use the display on the left of there. I'm just going to use the phone. Um, the reason being that if I was going to mount this, I'd have to cut a hole in the caravan. Um, ideally, I'd have to bring it probably three or four meters up into one of the upper cupboards where the solar controller is and have it nested up inside there. Um, but it's not really something I want to do. I don't think it's worthwhile. So I think what I'm going to do is just um, just work with the, the phone app for now and um, I'm not going to actually use this and install this. I've just gone and switched off the mains power supply so you can see um, what's changed here. So now instead of it was not charging just for a moment there, actually there must be a little bit of solar so it's just started charging again. Um, so what we can see at the moment is that there's it's neither charging nor discharging that's because i've got nothing running at the moment um so what i'm going to do is switch on a couple of lights and you should see a change happen with the current draw and also something down here okay so i've switched on a few of the lights so now we can see we're actually drawing one amp of power okay so the dial is just to the left showing we're discharging by it's fluttering between 0.9 it's 0.9 amps of discharge let's just adjust our power consumption by i'll just flick um, a couple of the lights off so i just flicked a couple of the lights off so our draw has dropped from 0.9 amps down to 0.5 amps and we can still see that we're under load at the moment we're not charging if we want to verify the data so here's the control panel um, the factory control panel in this caravan so it's saying my voltage is 13.6 on the left and it's 13.7 um, on the display so it's fairly much the same and we can see um, in the solar controller the Truma solar controller it's flashing which means it's fully charged basically so what I could in fact do um, is reset the, the battery to 100% um, and 
rather than 98% but I'm happy with that, that margin of error is pretty small for me. So yeah that's a review of um, battery management system that I've installed, um, like I said I got it off Alibaba, I'll put the link in the description in case you want to get the same one. Um, this particular one I went, you get the option to choose different shunt sizes, um, this being the shunt here. I ended up going for the biggest one uh, which was 400 amps, the, so I think they came in 50, 100, 200 and 400. So it's it's massive, that's why the um, the lugs on it are just enormous, I think they're 10 mil they require for the terminals. Um, the reason for doing that was I had got twin motor movers on mine and the motor movers are fused with um, four 150 amp fuses um, so I figured that potentially it could pull quite high. I haven't actually looked at the battery um, display while I've been using the motor movers yet but that was the reason I went for the 400 amp but if I didn't have the motor movers in this caravan the 50 amp shunt would have absolutely been fine because there's nothing else in this caravan that pulls anywhere near that um, capacity the most would be my inverter I've got a 300 watt inverter and that's got a 30 amp fuse on it so um, would have been totally fine with 50 amps and running things like the taps and stuff they're just pulling like around 5 amps so the 50 amp shunt would have been absolutely adequate had it not been for the presence of those motor movers. I'm not too sure um, if having an understyced shunt could blow things but I would say it probably becomes inaccurate because it can't really measure, measure the discharge when you have a shunt undersized to the draw but if anybody knows the answer to that by all means um, drop a comment below. Um, so I hope you found this review useful. I hope this gives you a good insight into how to install the battery monitoring system and hopefully it's made it a bit easier for you to, if you're thinking about getting one, um, this particular product so far. I definitely recommend it and the price is absolutely right and it's definitely something that you could install yourself without Thanks for watching. problems.